Wake up, Samurai. It's time for Batman. Let's see, uh... I need to change the... I need to change the audio. What I have it at? 8.3. make sure this is good. I have my doubts for some reason. Checking, checking. No, actually that's probably fine. There are no there are no troubles with colors this time around. Oh no, there were, but I made sure to take care of that before I started. I hope it does not get worse, but I may have to get another cable if it does. I don't I don't know. For now though, let's just make do with what we got. Alright, so, the ruins. It looks different. Yet in a way, vaguely the same. Ow. Sometimes the more, cha the more things change, the more they stay the same. Also, here's a new power-up. It lets me jump two blocks. It also gives me hearts, but I don't need those. Oh! I didn't realize that the power-up was gone. Man, Cyberpunk looks different than I thought it would. Hey man, I never said it was gonna be so- Ow! I never said it was gonna be Cyberpunk, that was you. That's a you problem. Ow, these snakes hurt my butt. Just to make sure you got it. Ugh. Truth be told, cyberpunk's just not really anything I'm particularly interested in. I mean, you know, if, if somebody else is into it, you know, that's that's cool. It's just not me. I am not one of those people. <laughs> Plus, it has naked boobies in it, and Twitch would probably kill me. Twitch would give me the cement shoes, and then throw me in the water like a gangster. Okay. Oh, no, wait, wait. No. I have to go back down. I'm, I'm still wondering why that's a thing. Why are you able to customize your genitals? Triple A video games make my head bleed profusely. I, I'm trying to figure out 
what pattern I am supposed to tackle. Oh, down here? No, I already went down there. Okay, so I can only jump two blocks, I'm pretty sure. So I'm trying to figure out with what? No, wait, I see it. I see it. I see it. By the foot. People's genitals can clip through clothes. Nah, that's just realistic. That happens all the time. <laughs> Wait. No, I can't do that. Oh, I gotta go down here. And then do this. I mean, maybe. If you don't... If you don't have the whip, I don't know what you do. Oh, okay, thank god it didn't spawn me on one of those. Okay, so here's the Gibdo go round. My favorite ride at Disneyland. Okay, so I can probably like funnel them through here. Okay, I better I better take a bit of an advancement here. Oh no wait, I can just jump in the middle. Where it's perfectly safe. That that block up there. You know, I, I feel like there's probably something. But I don't wanna risk it. Oh, it's a mollusk. Mollusk. Nothing good ever happens when a mollusk, mollusk shows up. Ah! Especially- Oh, so it just- it makes me kill the baby. So that the mo- oh. <laughs> Oh, It makes me kill the baby so that the mom will be mad at me. It's not my fault, the game design made me do it. Alright, so Star Tropics has foreshadowed Breath of the Wild and also Undertale. Oh, no, it's over here. Mike Undertale, yes. Hello, everybody. What a pleasure to see you all. I'm so glad that mummy didn't turn towards me. It has 8-bit graphics and top-down. Clearly ripping off Undertale. Exactly. Well, I mean, technically this came first, so I guess you could say that, you know, Undertale was inspired by Star Tropics. I, you know, and not any other video game out there, of course. You know, there's, there's no other Nintendo video games about American kids who fight aliens. Okay, again, no idea how you do that if not for this. Wait, there were video games before Undertale? Well, no, just hypothetically. The only other game in development was Yandere Dev. Wow. He turned himself into a video game. I turn 
myself into a video game, Morty. Yeah, see, I don't have a choice. This, the door will not open. This is a load-bearing child. Oh, right, I remember this. This was one of the earlier bosses. So I think the smart thing to do would just be to wait for it to charge. Uh, uh, uh. I'm sorry, I'm itchy. See, this will, of course, be one of Mike's alternates when he gets into Smash Ultimate, which he will. Aha, but that was merely a false end. Why was it playing heroic music? Because I beat the first boss. But that's not enough. <laughs> you murdered a child and then it's mama. Hmm. Oh, okay. I see. I see what do. Was that a basketball? So do I do I go in the the bottom here? Do I go down there? A baseball? I mean maybe. It just looked kinda big and red to be a baseball. <laughs> okay, can I go down here? Yes. So I assume that that stays open. You know, you you would think that I have played this game before and you would be right. But yet somehow I still don't remember it. Oh, here we go. Final smash. Yeah, screen clearing, screen clearing cleats. Because with these spiky cleats, anything is possible. I didn't actually need that. But I have no choice but to take it. Oh, ow! Ow. <laughs> Spike Jones. Uh-oh, I don't like this room. Okay, luckily it seems to not be crumbling around me. There's probably a secret in there. You know, somewhere. Okay, the actual boss, the Moai head. So you gotta wait for him to open his mouth, then he'll fire whatever this is. I'm probably going to die. 
That does not seem to be working. No! Blast it all. Blast it! And of course, this is one of those games where y if you continue, you're already dead. <laughs> oh no, it's that thing from Night at the Museum, 10 year old me. So, I think we were all wrong about Tom Holland playing Mike Jones. Maybe it would really be Ben Stiller. God, unless I get a heal, I am... I am up the creek, let me tell you. Oh, no, wait. There's a million hearts over here. Thank God for redundancy. the hearts. No! Yeah, unfortunately, this game does what a lot of NES games do, and make it to where continuing puts you in hell. Not as bad as Metroid 1, but it's not good. Also, yeah, I think Robin Williams would have been a good fit, uh, rest his soul. Dude loves Zelda enough to name his daughter after it. Wow, we got seven dudes here right now. That is a not-nothing number. Triple N. Crap, I forgot to press the switch. Of course, three N's also stand for another thing, but I, I will not get into that. We're, we're already past it anyway. You know what would be great? It would be great if I could just, like, keep, you know, going in and out of this room to get more hearts. Too bad that doesn't happen. Crap. I wasted one of my balls. <laughs> I dropped my balls. I should probably do this. <laughs> God, can you just like... <clears throat> the, the Zelda fire traps are the worst thing. Well, maybe not the worst, but they're they're up there. They're pretty bad. Okay, okay. This is good, this is good. It might make more sense instead of throwing the balls to uh, just use the whip because I can do that in midair. Like I can jump and then do that. No reason not to use this. It doesn't seem to work on the Moai head. So, I mean, makes sense to me. I am not getting that stuck. Oh! <laughs> you know what? Let's, let's check to see if there's any secrets here. So why didn't this game come out in Japan? Uh, it was... It was kind of designed to appeal to Westerners. And I guess they just didn't see the point of translating it to English. I mean, to Japanese. I'm sorry, I'm used to saying translate to English. It's it's not often that we get a game that Japan doesn't, so I'm not used to saying that. But yeah, I guess they just figured they didn't want to translate it to Japanese. 
because they figured it probably wouldn't do well. Now, are they right about that? I don't know. We, we may never know. I mean, Nintendo likes to put untranslated games on Nintendo Switch Online, so I don't see why they couldn't just throw Japan untranslated Star Tropic. Okay, that doesn't work. Oh, God! This dungeon. Only other example I can think of is Kid Icarus 2. Exactly. And how many Kid Icarus 2 songs are in Smash? That's what I thought. I'm not saying that there's a conspiracy. But there's a conspiracy. Color's still good also. Thank you. That being said, now that I know that's a thing, I'll probably be on the lookout for it. Oh god. Not a good position to be in. Yeah, I think it's just something about my cables gone bad. Oh yeah, I I appreciate you keeping an eye out for it though. It it definitely takes a load off my mind. I only have one other cord, one other SCART cable that's kind of gone funky on me, and that's my PlayStation 1 cable, which is a shame because I just got another PlayStation 1 because my other one is, uh, the disk drive is kind of stanky. Doesn't, doesn't work so nice. I want to get it. I want to get it outfitted with an optical drive emulator eventually, but that costs some money. Oh, this is probably what you do right here. You probably do the old, you know, Mike Jones sidewinder. Wait, I've confused myself. You give them the old spicy Jones. What? No. I I have confused. Okay. Okay. I see. This room is is nebulous to me. Star Tropics has hard bosses. My inner game journalist is making Dark Souls comparisons. Okay, I was I I made a mistake. <laughs> this room this room breaks my head for some reason. Oh, no, that was a three gap. <laughs> I don't know my I don't know why my brain is dying. Well, I don't want to do that with like no lives. Mike Jones doesn't know how to swim. For a game that takes place primarily on the ocean, Mike Jones is astonishingly bad at swimming. I'm just starting over. Like if it's gonna, if it's gonna put me before a checkpoint with no lives and no health, then no, I'm not, I'm not having that. Okay, my health is low, so that means the music loses one sound channel. There we go. Now it's back. Oh, 
Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. I do not have my super weapon. I do not have my super weapon to take over Boom Beach. Dark Souls is going to be in Smash in some form. I mean, Assassin's Creed is a me costume, so I wouldn't be surprised. Listen, the truth is, is that I know all of my hopes and dreams are, are dead. And I have no chance of ever being happy in my life. So I hope, I hope you kids get what you want in Smash. Okay, so... Oh, okay, so you gotta, you gotta jump from over here. No, over here, over here. I'm only asking for a costume, not a fighter. I'm not even sure that, like, I don't even think Mike Jones would get a costume. That's how... <laughs> that's how much they seem keen on ignoring it. Okay, here we go, here we go. Time again for the Gibdo Roulette. And I hate my life. God, this is so much weaker. Also, I, I, I just want some Echo Fighter DLC, man. Like, again, they said that I'm gonna try it. I am glad that I tried it. Oh, no. I'm, I'm probably not going to live. At least need to put the dungeon theme from this game into Smash. Because I should have used the potion. I should have used the potion. Please give me a checkpoint. I hate you. There are no words for how much I hate you. Like, there's no reason to continue. The items are gone, and I have no benefit. <laughs> I have no benefit to continuing this run. Luckily, this snake decided to be stupid. So weird that they made Echo Fighters and we were like, okay, so only like five of them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like we need we need at least a couple more if you're gonna if you're gonna make this in a, a named thing. Like if you're gonna come up with a term. Like I said, my theory is that they came up with that just so people would stop bugging them about Dark Pit. That's that's the only reason I think they did it. 
that being said, if it's gonna be a concept, like, there's a couple you could do and it wouldn't be too hard, like... Like, Funky Kong for DK. Uh, Shadow for Sonic. Miss Pac-Man for Pac-Man. You know, and so on and so forth. Uh, Mario could maybe have Shadow Mario. Though he's technically part of Bowser Jr.'s Final Smash. Proto Man could have been one for Mega Man. Though he is part of a Final Smash as well. Like I said, you know, it's, it's, it's easy and I feel like that would... You know, that'd be a good way to get some fan favorite characters in there that... You know, maybe you don't want to spend the full dev time on. Though I guess you could also say that that would be a little worrisome, like... Like, oh god, they're gonna... <laughs> they're gonna put a character everybody wants... They're gonna make Waluigi an Echo Fighter. Uh, Wario could probably have Shake... The Shake King. I also put forth Booster as a Wario Echo, but, uh... They might not want to make an Echo Fighter a character from a different series. And technically in Smash, they consider Mario and Wario separate series. Because they have their own icons. And I'm sorry I talk about Smash so much, it just keeps coming up. Like, really, this song has never gotten an official remix, and that is an affront to God. Because even if you don't like this game, you gotta admit this song, this song is good. They were not slacking on the composition. They might have slightly been slacking on uh, putting it into the game, because a couple of the songs are broken. Ever so slightly. But the person who composed the song did not slack. Either way, uh... I'll conclude my Smash talk with this. Is that if Mike Jones got into Ultimate, I would never ask Sakurai for anything ever again. Everything else would be irrelevant. Crash Bandicoot, you know, Dr. Robotnik, everybody else could go to hell. being said, the problem with DLC characters is they have to pick something they know will actually sell. Then explain Byleth. <laughs> but Japan. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, that's that's the problem. Is that as much as as much as I want them, and as as much as I know that there are, you know, there are a good many people, maybe not a good many, but like a a fair selection of people who would want this guy. It's just probably not enough, and uh, he would he would probably be more likely for the base game of another Smash. But then at that point, Mike Jones doesn't get to meet Snake, so all is- all is lost. So, with my true dreams dead... With my true dreams absolutely ruined, uh, I am hoping for Robotnik and Crash Bandicoot, and that is the last I will say. This mummy is on my buttock.
Okay, okay but I do have a potion. I do have a potion. If that is what is required. <laughs> People wouldn't want to spend money on Incineroar. Heck, I... I honestly feel like I deserve a discount for Incineroar having been in the game. Okay, so it turns out this guy has a very abusable pattern. Oh, but I think he's I think he's getting closer. Okay, it's fine. You don't get to keep them between dungeons, so might as well just use it. Oh, thank you. Thank you for burying me in the points. Okay, gotta hunt the walls, you know. You know the drill. The... Decidui would have been better, to be honest. I mean, I'll be real with you and say at this point, it's basically a Fire Emblem situation where I just will not be able to get excited about a Pokemon. There's just too many of them, and I, I can't care anymore. Okay, I could go in there, but I don't know if I want to yet. Okay, I do. Gen 8 Pokemon could still happen. Honestly, I am prepared for one of these to be a Pokemon. It, it's also because the Pokemon inclusions to me Feel, my, feel more like commercials than they do actual like like pics born out of reverence and I know that's the nerdiest possible way to say that but and I said I was done talking about Smash we see how well that went This maze kind of sucks. Ah, the bowling ball. What is this big rock? Looks like metal melted by some great heat. It has three holes where something used to be. Some strange cipher is inscribed here, but you can't read it. Okay, more dungeon time. And there's a hint. You can go to the right. And I don't even need these hearts, so I'm not gonna collect them. I might be able to make use of them later. Oh, do not knife me. Knifing is not nice. 
It is not nice to knife. Ah, uh, yes, this item. Keep in mind, we're at, like, the semi-final chapter of the game, and it's still introducing new items. Okay, you remember this? Okay, that was maybe not the best way to handle that. But it was a way to handle that. And at the end of the day, isn't that all that matters? Okay, uh, two paths have opened up for me here. My feeling came entirely too late, but I did have a feeling. Ah, uh, it's the- it's the grid orb. It's whatever these things are. I don't like it. In no way do I like it. Ah, uh, yes, I- I remember this. I remember this area. I'm guessing if I jump here, it'll be bad. Yep. I had to try. I had to try. I didn't have to try, but I, I felt like I should. Can I have some heart, please? Well, I, I better collect this, just to be safe. Oh. Time that entirely wrong. Okay, what I probably want to do is... Yeah, that. I'm guessing, though, if I go to the... I'm guessing if I go to the left side over there, then it won't give me the hearts pack. Because this is an NES game, and the NES was mean. It, it took my lunch money after school. That doesn't make any sense. The, the, the timeline does not add up. Okay, I was hoping for more stars, but what are you gonna do? It's because of your lame yo-yo. I know. Okay, thank you for five collectibles with the one heart. Okay, I, I forgot to do the thing. And for that, I will perish. Okay, so let's take a wild guess. Does anything come back in here? Oh, it does, actually. Well, color me surprised. That's a good item, though. That is a really good item. And I'm happy to have it. Okay. At least I managed to avoid disaster there for once. 
Monica. <laughs> Oh no, 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 Nothing. Oh. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Please care if I don't. Ooh, more ninja stars. Yes, I will take that quite happily, thank you. It's the guy! What potion? <laughs> yeah, I should have used it. The problem- okay. You don't want to use the potion until you have to, of course. Because, you know, if you wait, it means, I think, better heal. The problem is, is that if you die, you lose the potion. I, I'm pretty sure it doesn't even have to be a game over. I think you can just lose the potion by dying. So you just, you want to use that the moment you have it. You want to, you want to use that while you can, is what I'm getting at. What I'm trying to say in this horribly broken English. Collect five stars to get one heart. Because here on Sea Island, we're generous. Uh. Come here. Come here. Come here, little boy. Come here, little fly. I don't want to hurt you. I just want to hurt you. Moving down diagonally is the worst thing in this game. Uh, I'm gonna go keel over and die. Okay, have fun with that. Thank you for stopping by. Done it! Finally! I've finally done it! But at least I know of the secret in the upper realm. Now to just take a long walk off a short pier. I don't know what this room looks like, but it looks like something.
Okay. Oh. A Bhutan? I have, like, I swear when I, when I played this before, I had much better luck with those. Okay, I'm not going to take the hearts, but I am going to take the shurikens. infestation there. Oh, okay. <clears throat> mm, the flies! And now, now they make you wish you had the hearts. That's the strategy. Is you want the hearts and then you fart. Oh, oh of course, I see. Oh, I can't tell what's going on! Uh, I better use the potion. Oh, okay, no, the potion does not fully heal you. Because why would it? Are you some kind of idiot? You, well, you think, you just think everything in life is free? You don't get nothing in life for free. Except a big old middle finger, that's what you get. Oh, okay, those guys freeze you. These guys freed the anti fairy Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh no, they curse you. Can I, can I have, like, hope of living? Going to die. Oh my god, I'm going to die. These guys are the absolute worst. I swear it to you, I tell you of the worst. A brat. Oh my god! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, ba -ba. I get commentary is dead. I don't have any commentary left because I am dead. But there is just one guy remaining, and I will have to wait to be able to play the game. Those guys did not even open the room. Open the room. Alright, what's over here? Do you jump down? Yes, you do. Um, can I have some hearts? I would like to save this for later, ideally. No? No, go to hell before you die. Let me make sure there isn't a secret path here. I wanna make sure I'm not stumbling into some variant of trap. Oh, yeah, these guys. I'm using it. Yeah, 
You missed me on the verge of death. As I am now. Can you perish, please? Can the dungeon be over? I would appreciate very much if the dungeon was over. Of course it's not. No, why would it be over? Luckily, this is the most ineffective boss in video game history. fun in games until you accidentally hold forward and jump. That's the thing, though. You don't need to hold forward. You can just press A and B. The D-pad is not necessary for this boss. Okay, I gotta hump it. You know how the deal is. How do you detonate the shot? Oh, you just press B again. The old double B. And any holding down and up on the NES D-pad making my thumb hurt. Oh yeah. Really grinds in there. Oh hey. Hey Mike, it's me, Uncle Steve. You found me. You stand speechless. He looks very much like your father. Uncle, are you alright? Yes, I'm alright. But you're fantastic. I'm very proud of you, Mike. Let me tell you what happened. Listen carefully. A month ago, I found a big rock in these ruins. I think you know the one. I decoded the cipher. It told of an incredible story. On a faraway planet called Argonia, the Argonians battled evil aliens. The Argonians were all but destroyed. They sent their last escape pod to Earth. Mike, the, raw, the rock you saw is the burned remains of that escape pod, and the pod was carrying three powerful magic cubes. They are very important. The evil aliens chased those magic cubes to Earth and abducted me to get at them. The story is complicated. Want me to repeat it? No. The aliens forced me to reveal the location of the magic cubes. I'm ashamed. I was too weak. Now they've taken them from the big rock. The magic cubes must have been sent to Earth for a reason. Mike, please get them back from the evil aliens. You respond bravely. I will go to the alien spaceship and get them back. Mike, leave me here. I'll be okay. Good luck. Well, gee, thanks, Uncle Steve. <laughs> Steve Cubes. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. Okay, Mike is moving on his own there. Okay, this is the last chapter of the game. I don't know if I'll be able to beat it this stream, but we'll at least give it a chance. But first, I have to hump these rocks. What happens if I just go back? What happens if I leave? Oh, I see what's going on here. <laughs> so yes, new dungeon music. Okay, so... Now we will see what... What lies on the alien spaceship? Okay, 
Okay, here's a pill. So this will fill you up to max health, but if I'm not mistaken, it will slowly d drip back down until you actually get to your actual max health. I explained that horribly. Hopefully you get the idea, though. Ow. Aliens on motorcycles. It hurts. So I think this dungeon is more about figuring out where the heck the exit is more than uh, actually getting to it. Don't worry, this isn't the last dungeon. No. Okay, if you if you like hit them in time, then you you're fine. Too bad they appear at like the blink of an eye. Now I have the power of God! Okay, it's time for Robit. Ah, oh, crud. Ah, oh, crud. Well, dang, son, they, they, do, they went and got me. I guess it's also about trying to get, get ready for the boss. Yeah, I think it's mostly the fact that it, like, has what seems like the double square wave. Which I believe is something Mega Man games tended to do a lot. Okay, there's a potion up there. So how do I get over there? I gotta figure out the layout of- I gotta figure out the layout of the dungeon. Okay, well I've learned nothing, but there's a gun over here. Let's see what's up here. Okay, that's how you get up there. So you definitely want to go that way whenever possible. That's pretty much the only way that matters. Is the teleporter way. It's, it's all just a means to get to the teleporter. No, 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 no. I ain't gonna talk to you. I'm going down here. Nope. 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 Uh, not my problem. Ow. My problem. Ah! Robots! Alien soldiers slash robots. I am not doing well. I'm going to hell. Might as well drink. Ow. Ow. There's, there's too many things to do with at one time. Here's 
It's mostly just about dodging their attacks, though. If I can do that, then... I can't do that. Just bob and weave. Wob and beave. Beavis and butthead. That was going good for a little bit. It was almost, it was almost good. Yes, I must get the peel. I must get the pill. I must get the doc's wild new prescription. The, the aliens on the motorbikes are the worst part of this entire dungeon. I want to eat a pizza! No. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay, note to self. Take care of this guy before... Before he ruins my life again. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I think I hate this game. Actually, I'm going to take a break real quick because my nose is running and also I need to just stretch. I need to do stretch things.
Okay, I am returned. Okay, let's do let's do the run. We have done a bunch of not the runs. Let's do the run. Some soap because I do not like you and I wish you would take a poof. Bikers seem to be predictable. Well, then tell me what pattern you're seeing, because I ain't. Oh my god, it hurts. Life is pain, and I want some yogurt. Ow, double biker, double biker in the afternoon. I'm going to the New Jersey. My bullets are invisible. Hey, uh, hey, Jun Takanashi, do, do, you, do you think we have enough bullets on the screen? Is the NES flickering? No? Well then no we don't. Okay, I've, I have taken care of that one guy. Now I must take care of his brother, John the other guy. Wait, wait, I can take out the- I can take out the turret?! Well, this changes everything. Ow! This also changes everything, and what it changes mainly is that I'm dead. It's right there. That's the boss, right there. Well, dang, that- that makes my life ever so slightly easier. Knowing that I can just do that. I think I went through my whole playthrough of this game the first time without knowing I could do that. It's like you have to you have to be on the ground and you have to know they're coming. That's how you do it. Ow. I got to take damage from something apparently. Now I don't know if it comes back once I'm over here. I hope not, but I am prepared for the possibility. Okay, no. Good.
Ow. It's just they're, they're fast. They're superbly fast. Just book it. Book it. Book it. Make like a cop and book it. It's like you when you can't see the number of bullets on the screen. That's a problem. Oh right, I can destroy the turret. And probably should have at a much earlier point in time. reason not to use it. Okay, we are on the alien ship. More. We were already on it, but now we are especially on it. So we have a choice of three. I will choose the bottom left. Okay, that was the wrong choice. I think. Oh, it's the cube! I've got the magic cube. Ah, oh, you feel a strange power flow into your weapon. So now I now have the better weapon. I think there's like a mini dungeon for each cube. Supernova, which is also the name of Sephiroth's most powerful move. I'm telling you, man. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. It would be good for me if they believed it was, though. Maybe not. Maybe they don't actually care. If Shantae became the next major me costume, would you point and laugh? No. Because Shantae is not deserving as, of as much as my ire as Fire Emblem. However, I would feel smugly satisfied internally. I'm not going to make it through this dungeon. That's probably my punishment for smack-talking Shantae.
professionals have standards. This is what happens when you don't talk about Delta Room. What would a me costume, costume of Shantae even look like? I didn't know you were still here, Kaparama. I'll be real with you. It would just make you naked. I'm always here. Oh, I'm sorry if you... If you're not posting anything in the chat, then I have to open up- then I have to open up the little list to see that you're here. Ow! Like, they get a shot in before I can kill them. And it's not fun for me. And I don't even get the- the fun music. And- and they come back! They come back! Maybe I should be more liberal about using this. This is where the game stops pretending to care about you or your feelings. there's anything cool down here. Well, besides that. I mean, that is pretty cool, though. Oh, okay. I, I'm fine. But I better get out of here. Okay, that's good, actually. Oh, that's not. God! I'm just gonna use it. I'm gonna use it right now. Even though it, it, it pretty much just puts me back where I was before I went in the top room. So whatever. Ow. Why is their range so long? I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's fair. Mom, it's my turn on the Xbox. Oh, he's moonwalking. Get me out of this room. Oh, ow. 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 No! I panicked. I panicked and I jumped in the hole. We all make mistakes in the heat of passion, Jimbo. my new plan.
<laughs> nerd. Eat my butt tonight. The problem is you don't you don't get much depth with mode seven. Oh, moonwalking again. Oh, but look at the range on this uh, supernova, though. Oh, look at the range on that heart I'm not going to get. Yeah, if you just book it, you can make it there before they can do anything. Okay, doing much better this time. Oh, no! I'm gonna say a curse word. And it's gonna be a real bad one, too. Mmm. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try to get the potion. Yes! For once, victory has been achieved! No! I was trying to pull him down and I jumped off the ledge! This game demands perfection. You must be one. You must be one with, with the, 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 the space. You must unify yourself with the cosmos. is pretty funny though. <laughs> okay, you just can't panic. God, did the did the Chozo make this gun because I don't understand how a laser gun has range. Like, I don't understand how that's short range. Well, okay, I, I have been in better situations. I will admit this. Okay, I don't think I've make it, made it past here before. Okay, the satellites are in town tonight. Oh, the super gun. 
I want to find out what that does, but I don't want to waste it because it's, I have so little ammo of it. Oh, the pill. Barnacles, I love the pill. Okay, it's like, it's like electricity. Okay, ow, ow, ow. I'm gonna take some damage in the night because I am dying and I am going to... They can shoot through the electricity, but I can't. Uh, I'm in a bad spot. No! I have killed God. did that. I thought it was gone. But it was not gone. It was not gone. I hope you don't need that for the boss. Me too. Here's the boss. Oh god. Okay, so he comes down. And he shoots. He shoot the gun. No, I am dead. And I have no life left, so the old lady's going to wave her hand at me. But it's, it, that's what it's all about. It's about getting a little farther each time. Please don't jump down. Please don't jump down. Please don't jump down. Okay. Oh. Uh, suck it, nerd. Now, now what? Just gonna moonwalk? You're just gonna try to style on me and you're gonna hope that's enough? You can't style on the man who is style. I need I need all the help I can get, baby. I need all the help. Please pick that up. <laughs> I don't know if you understand, Mike, but it would be very helpful to me if you picked items up when I walk over them. No. Don't- don't go to him. Wait for him to come to you. Okay. 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 Okay, this is epic. No, I can't, I can't get that star in time. I got that star in time. You can't bring back chopsticks.
Okay. So far, Millhouse. Very suspiciously how Millhouse this is going. Revealed your secret door. I bet you're mad about that. Haha, <laughs> you're dead. Ha <laughs> ha, that guy joined. What's in here? There's nothing in here. This room is empty. <laughs> and then the boss respawns when I walk back in. But we're not done yet. Well, that's what you think, but it's not over yet. <laughs> and of course, I can't jump into the doorway. Just get me out of here. I do not wish to be in the pain zone. Ow. Well, the pain zone has come to me. Oh, God. There's too much. There's too much to deal with. That's what the aliens want me to say, but it is true. They've done a good job. Okay, so here's an interesting little setup. Yeah, I remember this. You remember this? No, you haven't, because you haven't seen this game before, but I remember this. Oh, okay. Okay. Use potion. Use potion. Come on, 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 Yes! Ooh, that was tense. Very, uh, Yoshi's Island boss there. But again, this game has come first. I think. Yeah, 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 it definitely came before Yoshi's Island. Or did it? Okay, so there's a cube up there. I want it. And I know you can't keep it from me forever.
Okay, so there might be one more stream after this, it turns out. But it would probably be a very short one, so maybe it would be followed by Spelunky or something. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. But I, d I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to the end in this stream. Pardon me. Ugh, my bones. Gonna play Nintendo GameCube. Gonna play Nintendo GameCube. Gonna play Nintendo GameCube. Got Magic Cube. Fellow into power. My life level is max. That is pretty sweet. Wish I had uh, some pizza that I could heat up and eat. But I don't, so I have to settle for a refilled life bar. Now for the last magic cube. What? What? You shout, it's moving! An earthquake? Oh no! We're taking off! best they could probably do. <laughs> the alien spaceship is circling the Earth. Hurry up and find the last magic cube. An illusionary image appears before you. You hear an evil voice. <laughs> I am the prime invader, Zoda. Come on, try and beat me. You'll be defeated like all the Argonians. We'll destroy you. Ha 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 ha. Come on, Mike, come on. Your head is aching. You jam bananas in your ears. You shout, get out of my mind, alien scum. Oh, hello, knight. Oh, okay, there he is, Zod Zoda. Ow. Luckily, it gives you this part like right off the right off the bat. Unfortunately, uh, it does not refill your health, so you die. <laughs> Luckily, Zoda's pattern is very obvious. Oh. <laughs> Near the end of the game. Yep, this might actually be the last dungeon, actually. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Grab the item, you stupid idiot. The Kitten. She can still heal you out in space. It's like, could I, could I get, could I get a health refill, please? Nobody, nobody play tested, nobody play tested this and thought, you know, actually, I would like a health refill. 
Everybody at Nintendo just thought this was fine. Might have dropped frames for a moment. Yeah, it says I dropped a couple, but not many. Okay. Zahandu. <laughs> Just gonna get Zahandu all day. Here's a first for this game, like some sort of weird uh, perspective area. The ammo magazine bolted to the back. You, I'm afraid I do not understand the joke, but that's okay. Yes, climbing ladders. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like when you climb a ladder and you kill a man hiding in a picture frame. Oh, now that's a Mega Man sound effect. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I didn't think that through. Oh, Langton's comment about eyeballs, I see. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought, I thought I could jump that. That looked like, because of the perspective, that looked like one... <laughs> It's okay, because uh, Zoda is a mystical space wizard. He can summon as many eyeballs as he wants. You have to fight this guy every time. At least until you hit a checkpoint. One of those games that is pretty good but it's just it's very stupidly difficult as as was the style at the time <laughs> maybe he moved to Japan I mean, he did a video on Ghosts and Goblins, which he admitted was pretty good. Just stupidly hard. Yeah, that room is really weird because, as you've seen, there's not a lot else like that in the game. It's just weirdly mean-spirited very early on. Ow. Ow. Quit it, Sniper Joe. Oh. Please do not kill. If you kill, then I will die. And do you really want that to happen? Uh. 
Oh, okay. It doesn't kill you! It sends you to a room that is very likely to do it, but it does not itself kill you. However, it does send you back here, which is uh, rather unfortunate. Infinitely better than losing a life, though. Amen to that one, brother. Okay, so is it just random which one that guy comes out of? I mean, the pill's here every time. I'm just trying to think of the best way to tackle the, the, the reactor core. I mean, if we're gonna blow up the Death Star, we gotta do it right. I knew that was gonna hit me because I am stupid. Oh my god, I want to stab a duck. Okay, I, I wasn't feeling that. It was not syncing up in a way that was beneficial to me. when my yo-yo actually has longer range than my literal gun. Can you step somewhere convenient? I wasn't sure about how that was syncing up. One day we'll get it. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. So, oh god, seizures. Ah, the space bug, space jellyfish spider. I don't know what it is, is that I'm on right now. This is kind of nebulous. Oh. Final boss? Final boss? Zorda. He's a, like a hopping frog man. Where you going, Zodi? Oh, God. thing all over again. Have fun. You know, I'm, I'm gonna try to finish it. We're, we're very close. I'm, I'm gonna give it a shot at least. me with his thumb. He went like... Yeah, thank you for stopping early there, Zoda, because otherwise I would have died. I'm just gonna be up front with you. I guess he can just enter the arena when he feels like it. And then sometimes he just gives you like four hands in a row. And, and see, I moved down, so that means I die. I mean, the one good thing about this is that I'm not worrying about having to refill my lives. Because I know the lives mean nothing here. Okay, once he starts firing his eyeballs, you can't do any more damage to him.
But yeah, luckily this boss is like the easiest thing on the face of planet Earth. You just, as long as you get good RNG, which does happen. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know you want to, come on. There's no reason to kill that guy. Don't you just love it when they moonwalk at you? Uh, God. I am not having a good time here. It's okay, because I can get more weapons. I just gotta do the first part again. You're gonna be so tired of this noise by the time the stream is done. If you're not already. I thought it was I thought I was safe. I thought it was safe. You're never safe. Your safety is but an illusion. Divised by Satan. If you stand on the non-trap door spot below the trap doors, do you still have enough range to shoot the core? I mean, probably, but I mean, didn't you have to deal with the spike things? Which I wouldn't say is much better. I just need to wait for the thing to actually be open. That's my problem.
I, I could have gotten some hits in there. Okay, the spike doors definitely always open before those. Okay, there we go. Ow. Kinda wish that didn't happen. You could probably stay here and, like, grind for stars or health or whatever. Oh. Assuming you're not bad at it like I am. Oh, God. Well, now I kind of need to. That's the danger of it. Oh, yeah, and I think these things are programmed to drop items more often than normal. Where are you, man? Get back up here. What are you, a coward? Oh, no! <laughs> okay, so... Avoid Zoda at all costs. Zoda is literally a one-hit kill. Good to know. Like, even if it means running into an enemy, avoid Zoda. Well, inf information was gained on this day. That's the important thing. Someday we will need to revisit Zelda 2. I don't know how, like maybe I could play a hacked version or a randomized version. Ow, 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 ow. But I also just don't really feel like revisiting Zelda 2 right this minute. Zelda 2 is really hard. Oh, that's not a good start. Uh, head, please. Thank you. Yes, I did just say that. Use it for whatever purpose you see fit. doing a Tails playthrough of Mania. Uh, I, I plan on revisiting Mania when I get close to streaming Forces. Because I figure that would be a nice way to just kind of like remind people. That being said, Tails playthroughs of other Sonic games are definitely coming. I'm just... 
I'm just lay I'm just lazy. Ow. Okay, now that I feel like I have a better read on the timing for this, I feel like I can get this done better. Well, except there, I just don't like it. There, I just don't like it. Okay, I, I cut it kind of close on that one, I'll be the first to admit. doing 3D Sonic in order, but uh, I realize that, ironically, my pace on Sonic has been pretty slow. So I, I've been thinking about trying to speed it up a little bit. Gotta do some Sonic Chaos. Some snock Koss. But I just wanted to get the Grinch out of the way first. And it may sound like I'm planning to assassinate the Grinch. That's because I am. Why'd you jump off there, Zodi? Ow. Ow. Zoda, please! Zoda, please! Okay. I am running out of juice. I need to be better about dodging his belly button projectiles. Because for some reason he has one. Let me, let me, just let me kill you. Just let me kill you the one, the one time. Oh, 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 oh. And he just like vomits up blood or something. Or maybe just vomits. Wow, you've done it! Blood and vomit. It reminds me of how Ocarina of Time changed Ganondorf's blood to green, so it just looks like he's throwing up now. Which is, yeah, sure, no blood, but you make me want to hurl. The, the, the spaceship is blowing up. Pardon me, we gotta escape. You have no time, get the last cube. I'm working on it! Alert, alert, you have no time. I'm working on it. You've got the last cube. You shout, I've got it. And then some crap appears on the edge of the screen. But now what do I do? And unfortunately, this is where Mike dies.
He can't be in Smash because he's dead. God. Hey, just generally assume if I'm playing an NES game, very high probability of seizure. Okay? That's just... <laughs> they didn't care back then. <laughs> No, nah, it's a joke. Oh, here's the purpose of the beach. I bet you forgot about the beach. And it's the dolphin from before. So everything's all good. We're back on Sea Island. I hear you, Cream Zoda. Mike, show me how to use a yo-yo sometime. Sure thing, kid. Mike, you rescued Doctor. You rescued Doctor J, didn't you? That's Radicola. Welcome back to Coral Cola. Congratulations. I have to hurry. I'm gonna roast a pig for your victory party. Doctor J has already returned, and he's waiting for you. Where do you come from, Spacey Cola? Oh, you are fantastic! Mike, wanna go fishing? Have you mastered the ABCs of fishing? Hmm? Mike, it's me, Babu. Let's celebrate with some cola. Thank you, Babu. Mike, you've done it. Mike, you've returned. Oh, you have the three magic cubes? I knew you could do it. The monsters have disappeared from the islands. Mike, our island is forever indebted to you. Now come here, Captain. Circuits indicate success. Circuits indicate success. Mike, you've done it. You risked life and limb. I know you almost gave up your quest, but I'll tell all. You battled like a hero under the Southern Cross. Now, Mike, let's join the three cubes together. Spin the cubes! Don't look at that. Wow, they're kids. Who are they? Oh, that one speaks. Listen. Hi, I'm Princess Mika, daughter of the Argonian leader, Hirokan. We seven boys and girls are the last beings from the planet Argonia. Twenty years ago, when our planet was about to be destroyed, we were placed in the time-frozen fro magic cubes and sent to this planet. Our planet no longer exists, but will not cry for the past. My father, Hirokon, told me to live in peace with the people of planet Earth. You speak to her. Hi, I'm Mike. We'll find you a home. Mike, you saved more than cubes. You saved a whole race from extinction. Mika, many kids live on the islands. I know the chief will welcome you here. Oh, seven boys and girls, we welcome all of you. It's your new home. You'll be happy living here under the Southern Cross. Okay, tonight is the party. It will be a great feast for all. We are pleased. You are so kind. I'm hungry. Is that a banana cream pie? You speak to them. Hey, anybody want to go fishing? Let's go.
You know, if this game ever did get remade, it would be pretty cool to see this scene, like, actually dynamically zooming out. That might be cool. Might be cool to do. Screenwriter, G. Takeda. There's G. Takeda, K. I'm not, I could, probably shouldn't try to pronounce these because I'll mess up. I, I won't pronounce them right. That's the guy who made the dungeon music. So you get to see some art of the things we have done. My leg is falling asleep. Where's the art of the bowling balls? This is a lot more epic than it looked in the game. This is roughly as epic as it looked in the game. Both Micah and the little girl look a little off here. Another one! Wait, that one happened. That one happened in real life. And there's the bird asking for sexual favors. There's your bowling ball art. You didn't think they'd forget, would did you? You ye of little faith. The only time where we actually used it as a submarine. The boss I died to like three times. Master Chief killing me for 20 times. Zoder. Uh, barfing up his internal organs, which are alive all on their own. Me blowing up his ship because I decided he did not deserve to live. Oh, he did it! He did the thing! See, that's a much fancier Nintendo logo. Okay, so is this where it's frozen? Are we staying here? Okay. So before I leave though, I wanna show you something. So as I've told you, a couple songs in this game are broken. They, uh, I'll explain why in just a moment. I'm just going to give you a little sample of that before we leave. So, the two songs that are broken is the island map, which you know goes like this. Oh. And 
I'd say it breaks right about there. You notice the little do 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 is gone. And it comes back around here. But now it's out of sync. The reason this happens is because the channel data exceeds 255 bytes, which is, of course, the limit. So, the fixed version sounds like this. Yeah, see, there you go. So that works all right and good. So the other song that's broken is because, it, it, no, the other song that's broken is, when, that is, blah, 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 is the one that plays when you meet the Argonians, which goes like this. And basically the reason why that one is uh, broken is because somebody at Nintendo accidentally added an extra zero zero to like the triangle channel, which caused it to become misaligned. So this is what it sounds like with the fixed triangle channel. There you go. So, yeah, so you can actually fix that, the latter one, with a Game Genie code, which, uh, you know, I'll put up on screen just to be safe, just in case anybody sees this and doesn't want to go looking for it. This is the code. Ooh, 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 click gel. Here's the code. All right, the other one cannot be fixed like that. However, there is a patch that fixes both both song by Brad Smith. So if you ever play Star Tropics and you want, you know, the, the if you want those songs to be fixed, if that bothers you, then. You know, you can get a patched version. But if you play on real hardware, you either got to have a flash cart or you can only fix the ending song. But nonetheless, I, I think I think that is neat. I think that's interesting. I mean, it's not neat that it broke, but I think it's neat that somebody fixed it. You, I don't know. At some point, eventually, I will stream Star Tropics 2. There was a sequel. It, you know, this game, this series did not continue very far, but it continued far enough to get a sequel. And if eventually, I will play that. I think it's also pretty good, but it's very, 
it, it's a contested sort of sequel. Like it, it's kind of like Sonic Adventure One to Adventure Two. Like it changed some stuff. It still feels like Star Tropics, but some people are not overly fond of the changes it made. But you will see. You will find out. Or you can find out now. If you wanted to look up a video, I'm not going to stop you. But you, what, whatever, I'll, I'll stream that one day. But not yet. Not yet. I don't know when. But eventually. It's, it's inevitable. So thank you for t tuning in. Thank you for enduring my failures at this test of island courage. And I, I am happy for those of you that have come to this stream. I appreciate anybody who does. I appreciate very much. Any, every person who comes by here, I, I appreciate it. Even if you, even if only briefly, even if you don't stay the whole time, I, I appreciate, no, I appreciate being thought of. Even the spam bots. Well, even the spam bots, yes. Maybe. It, it, it amuses me, if nothing else. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.